the stone inch pp easy all right let's do this this is gonna be really really rough this is like just for bro i have no idea how to be as a pokemon here thanks v that means a lot to me all right Okay, trigger the storm throw here, go into Pelipper. Bulldoze, even, that's actually much worse. Okay, um, so we could do a double manip here, but I feel like I need to save as much HP on my team as possible. I think the stockpile here is better. The Stone Age is definitely coming out. It would waste one Stone Age to just go into my like highest defense Pokemon here to like Cabotops or something. It would trigger another Bulldoze, though. So we'd just be stuck in a loop. I was really expecting him to go uh, Storm Throw there. Hey, Rachel, Alucard, Eli, I think we're following. Um, I have no way other way to trigger him to use uh, Storm Throw or whatever. I guess I could trigger Payback by going Behem. Um... I don't like any of this. I think the stockpile just playing around one crit is the best play here. Just playing around one crit. Okay. Okay. That's one stone edge. Dude, I could be really greedy here. The second stockpile... Nah, there's no reason to. If I just roost, I have more HP than last turn. I can, I can still stockpile. Definitely always roost here. There's no reason not to. I just always spam roost here, no matter what. Everything else is just greedy. Crit Stone Edge always kills me, but not if I'm roosted. So that's exactly what we have to do for the next five turns or four turns. That's two Stone Edges. Will the crit kill me from this HP? Definitely, definitely, definitely. There's no way, there's no way. It's, it's way more than 100% HP. Okay. Dude, Pelipper is such a boss. Three stone edges. Four stone edges. And that's about to be stone edge number five. <clears throat> Roost removes your flying typing for a turn. Okay, one more roost here because why the fuck not? And then just start surfing. Yeah, hitting st five, five stone in a row is pretty damn good. And there's the payback. So technically, if he's just using payback, there's no difference between me using toxic and me using surf. Um... Definitely want to stock up stockpiles here as well. I guess I should do that before... It's like no damage whatsoever, even if he does get hit with it, or if he gets guts here. Um, so what, that was like, what, 25 damage? So with guts, it's 50 damage. So with crit, it's 100 damage. I could just uh, toxic uh, stockpile roost here. That seems like the best plan. That way I'm dealing damage while I'm, uh, setting up and the the, dam the damage from guts honestly doesn't matter at this point that was like 40 damage right all right so i am dead to crit here so i do want to roost into stockpile if he doesn't crit with payback here i can stockpile this will also waste his full restores i think i'm in a pretty good position here i should have really 
I definitely should have um, refreshed my toxic PP. That was a pretty big mistake. Okay, running a PP. I think P payback has a lot of that. Definitely stockpile here. Let's set up the third stockpile, then I should be in okay shape. The problem is I have like more stone edge crits to play around, but I have more roost PP. Um, is he dead? Ooh, okay. Okay, that's interesting. Sock. Alright. Oh shit, is this thing faster than me? It doesn't have a stone edge though, I don't think. Crouch up grass, not stone edge. Shit, and Rotali could be coming out here. Oh, that's so bad that that toxic killed. Um, yeah, it's faster. I stockpiled up to two, I believe, because I used three the fight before. Um, I have to switch. Fuck, I have to switch, right? This thing can't hit, um, it doesn't have a dark type move, and it might go retaliate here. I could go Banette and just uh, burn this. Should be able to take a even two stone. I should be able to take with the net. But I could also help with Conkeldur though. If I have a better way to kill this, I should do it now. This is definitely stone edging this turn. It's not like I really have a choice. Uh, I guess a switch manip could be good here. Going into Kabu Tops, triggering the stone edge, and then he should use a Karate Chop or Grass Knot. And I can switch into Banette for less damage on Banette. That seems pretty reasonable at this point. And Banette should still have a lot of HP left. At that point. Okay, let's try that. Alright. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Kabutop's HP is like useless on this fight because it's like the only Pokemon that we um, that pretty much doesn't do anything here except for revenge kill something with Aqua with Aqua Jet. So giving up HP on him and able to save HP on Banette is like super valuable here. Definitely Willow Wisp here. Like missing here would really fucking suck. I'm not gonna lie. That's not a two at KO, and I'm okay now because Crit doesn't go through Burn, right? Um, I should be okay here. I could switch. Is there any point? Or do I just stay in Shadow Claw? He's gonna full restore at some point. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Cow tops in the Pelipper. Pelipper is always taking a stone in here no matter what. He used two so far. Um, because this thing is faster than Pelipper, so even the burned Stone Edge is going to deal a shit ton of damage on Pelipper. I don't like this line. Um, do I have a way faster? I could go Behem, but I need to, like, save HP on Behem. I think, I think I just stay in here. For at least another turn, because I don't think I'm ever switching Banette into anything again. Um, oh, this is so rough. The thing is, if I stay with Banette and just kind of damage him down, he's eventually going to full restore. I need to like burst this thing down, and I think Behem is the way to go. I can always recover. This thing is not going to deal a lot of damage to Behem at all. I'm going to try this. Hold on. Beautiful. I'm not exactly sure if Psychic is going to kill from this range. He's probably faster than me. I'm going to take one more Stone Edge, recover, and then go for the Psychic so I can get the Burst kill without him using the full Restore. I 
And now go for the psychic. Turn coming out here. The best thing this can do against Bennett is Rock Slide. So I could, um, Bennett here, he goes U turn into Conkledore. Is Bennett faster than Conkledore? If he uses anything besides, I don't think he'd use Rock Slide. He could use Retaliate, which would also be good for Bennett. Okay, Bennett, I think, is the play here. Alternatively, I could go Pelipper. Mianxiao is definitely faster than Pelipper, though, so he is going to take a Rock Slide if I go to Pelipper. Unless he U-turns, in which case I have Pelipper out against Conkledor, who also has Stone Edge, but is slower, I believe. Yeah, yeah, Conkledor is definitely slower than Pelipper. Uh, what's, what's better here? So, if he goes U-turn, would I rather have Bennett or Pelipper out against Conkledor? Um, Bennett can burn it, which is really nice, and then probably takes a Stone Edge. Um, on the other hand, if he doesn't U-turn, Pelipper is always worse here. If he doesn't U-turn, Bennett is still fine, because all this can do is Rock Slide. The only other move he'll really use is Retaliate here, and switching Pelipper into that is really bad. I think Banna is uh, the highest EV decision here. He still has two full restores. Nice. Oh, that was the optimal line. Alright, Rock Slide is gonna come out here. I could probably manip this thing into uh, jump kicking Banette again and then just dying if I go Kabutops here again. Why would he jump kick the Bahiam? That makes no fucking sense. Okay. He might rock slide here though, from this HP. Aw, oh, shit. Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just switch. Ah, I, didn't, I didn't like that line of play. I didn't like the Capitop switch. I probably should just... Okay, nice. Sick, 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 okay. We really need to hit a Will-O-Wisp here. That's super big. I have nothing else to switch into the Stone Edge. If I miss Will-O-Wisp here, that's huge. The thing is, I need to burst kill this again, probably with um, Behem. This doesn't have anything that is super effective, so we should be able to do the same thing again that we did earlier. This should work. Please hit. Thank you. Holy shit. Nice. That is sick. Alright. Um. Let's think about this. Is there any reason to stay in for another Shadow Claw? Probably is, because then, um... Behem definitely gets the kill with Psychic. Behem, I think, is slower. Right? Behem is 40, Conkledor is 45. I'm gonna go for one Shadow Claw here. I don't think I died to Stone Edge. I died to Stone Edge crit. But Behem also takes a ton of damage, if not dies to Stone Edge crit. And honestly, I only have Grimsley left. If I lose Bennett here, it's not the biggest of deals. That's a little more damage than I was expecting, to be honest. If I switch now, is that going to trigger... Is the burn damage going to trigger the full restore? I'm going to say no. I think this should be okay. We're faster. 
All right. That's Marshall. Holy shit. Oh my god. And now all that's left to do is get revenge on Grimsley.